Rajne. Okay. Hello, everybody. Our distinguished guest, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're here. Yay! Yeah. Right? What an incredible achievement. Today is all about celebrating the hard work, the dedication, and the faith that has brought us to this point. It's been quite a journey. Some of us, when we took this, we didn't know how far we were going to go. But here we are. We've not just survived, but we've thrived. Conquering countless essays, research papers, intense exams and tests, and some intense conversations. First and foremost, I want, and I should, express our deepest gratitude to our exceptional mentors, your unwa unwavering patience, profound wisdom, and relentless encouragement have not only shaped our journey, but also instilled in us the deep sense of gratitude and, ex and appreciation. You've imparted knowledge and instilled in us the courage to live out our faith in the real world. Speaking of faith, the verse Jeremiah 29 11 has been on my mind a lot lately. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. As we step into this unknown, that we all think is unknown, it's comforting to remember that God's got a plan for each of us. Even when things get challenging and confusing, His support and guidance is always there, guiding our steps. Also, remember the Great Commission of Matthew 28, 19, and 20. Go and make disciples of all nations. And here we see that we are from different nations. I from India, we have people from Jamaica, we have people from different places. Although there are other campuses outside there, in this one country we have different nations, right? We are called to share the hope we found with others. This doesn't mean we must be perfect. It means being genuine, showing love, and living out our faith in everyday moments. And of course, there are going to be challenges ahead, just like we had challenges when we did our research papers, when we did our tests, and when we had to do those umpty number of reading of books, with those umpty number of pages, which we said, am I going to finish this by this? And in fact, I signed an affidavit and sent it to pastor or send it to our, to our instructors. It is going to be challenging. But Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 encourages us to say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, not just one part, all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Trusting God means that we don't have all the answers. But he is with us, guiding us with every step of the way. As we leave here today, remember we're not alone. We are a community. We are a family. So let's stay connected. Let's encourage each other, prepare for each other, and share our journeys. Let's remember the words of Timothy 1, 1 Timothy 4, 17. Sorry, that's in there for you. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young but set an example for believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Our age doesn't define us. Our faith and action do. And we have each other for support. This goes back to that first course we took on faith. And it ends with the last course we took on faith. Right? So faith seems to be the constant, constant, constant reminder. To my fellow graduates, woohoo! Thank you for the memories the laughter, and the intense conversation. We've shared so much, and I'm grateful for every moment. Whatever our plans are, we will all do amazing things. So here's to us. Let's go out there. Let's make a difference. Let's love deeply and live fully. And remember, God has amazing and incredible plans for each of us. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. Yes. Here. Uh, but they, they had to uh, have another engagement to uh, attend this afternoon. But the wonderful pastors of this church 
Pastor Winston and Pastor Heisen Rose. So we want to just again acknowledge them for being the host pastors and for this being the host church of uh, LCU Grand Cayman. Amen. Let's give them a hand. You know they're not. All right. So in scripture reading, but the class scripture reading, I'm going to ask to the platform, uh, Mrs. Cassandra Blake. Our scripture reading will be taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verses 11 and 12, and I will be reading the Amplified Classic version. Wisdom is as good as an inheritance. Yes, more excellent it is for those living who see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, even as money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom shields and preserves the life of him who has it. We know that we are told that we should leave an inheritance for our children and our children's children and our children's children. The greatest gift that we can give to them is the word of God and for them to preserve it within themselves. So years later, even if they decide to step out of what we have taught them, they will always remember. So I need to say to each of us here today, it doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter what material things you have or doesn't have. Please instill wisdom into your kids, and it starts with the Word of God. God bless you all. Amen.